Perfect, thanks. And one question came up uh, from the audience. We've talked a lot about bad outcomes from COVID-19. We've only touched on what's your risk of getting COVID-19 when you're on these drugs. Does anybody want to comment on that? Yeah, I mean, I can comment on it. There's been two studies that have come out that sort of address this issue. Um, one is actually from Spain, and it came from a group of a large IBD center in Madrid, which was the epicenter of Spain. And what they looked at was the crude incidence rate within their IBD population uh, in the region, uh, including mortality rate and that of the population uh, in Spain, and there were no differences in the rate of in sort of positive tests. Now, again, you need to you need to take that with you know the caveat of not everyone was getting tested, et cetera. And then there's a multi-center I mean, a multi-center cohort that was uh, just uh, accepted for publication. So, I, and I've seen seen the data for this um, from uh, France and Italy. So combined, and they did the same type of analysis for crude incidents. And again, it doesn't seem like there was an increased risk in the IBD population as a whole compared to uh, the population. So um, if that doesn't the neither one of those papers really looked or had the granularity to look at all the drug effects and everything, but broadly taking a whole proportion of patients on a variety of drugs, it didn't seem that the, the risk was increased. Yeah, and I think the overall... Because, um, if you think about the viral properties of the, how it's transmitted, um, it really shouldn't matter if you're on a, an immune suppressor or not. Like if you get exposed, you, you're, you'll likely get infected. And so the key things is all of the measures that you talked about, physical distancing, space between two meters, a mask if you can't do that. Um, these are things that you can do to prevent and protect yourself from being transmitted, whether you are on a immune suppressor drug or completely healthy. The truth is, if you don't have, if you don't do those things and you come in contact with enough of the virus, you'll get infected.